Hi guys, I don't know about you, but like at this time I find that I have a bit of a wobble at certain times of the day, when well, one time of the day in particular, it's usually between five and six o'clock. I think it's probably the anxiety of coming up to the newest time and what, you know, is happening and what's new and the overwhelm of that hits me around that time. So I've started to use a lot of the books that I had around the house and the inspirational stuff I've had and the stories about people going through hard times and coming out the other end, I found really good. But um, just some stuff that I thought I'd share with you. I'll go through the books and try and pick out the shortest possible passage with something that might hit home with you or help you. Um, also poems. Um, I'm going to do a few poems. I love poetry. Um, so if you have a poem or if you have a piece that you'd like me to share with everybody or read out, I'm going to do that around five o'clock every day, I think. And uh, so by all means, join in. I'll add my email address there so you can just send it to me on that. And um, please don't send me anything on Messenger because Messenger is just chock a block with cartoons and all these sort of mad things that people are sending me. And um, don't take any offense if I ignore them, but like I'm not going to send something to 10 more people. <laughs> anyway, um, but thank you for the thought and thank you for thinking about me. So anyway, Louise Hay, uh, visionary way before her time. This book is 30 years old. Um, she was incredible, but a lot of coaches and a lot of psychologists and a lot of people now understand the process of you being able to control your thoughts and not let them run away with you and not let the story in your head become too big as opposed to what is the actual reality. And um, so she was one of the first people that introduced this to me. Um, and so I just want to read you this piece, excuse the head going up and down or whatever. I'm no pro when it comes to the the camera, but um, I just think this is powerful. There's an incredible power and intelligence within you constantly responding to your thoughts and your words. As you learn to control your mind by the conscious choice of your thoughts, you align with your power. We love that sentence, you align with your power. Do not think your mind is in control. You are in control of your mind. You use your mind. You can stop thinking those thoughts. When the old thought comes back and says, it's so hard to change, take mental control. Say to yourself, I now choose to believe it is becoming easier for me to make the change. You may have to take this conversation with yourself several times for it to acknowledge that you are in control and that's what happens. Well worth having to think about that. Um, so, are you staying in the trauma of what's happening right now? Are you staying in the negative of what's happening right now? It is very normal to come in and out of those places. We're on a roller coaster and we're still in shock. Um, but don't stay there. If you can, find some way of inspiring yourself to move on. That could be a video. It could be just tuning into Netflix and switching off. It could be reading a book. Any sort of movement changes your state. So I'll talk to you another day about exercise and how that's affecting your mental health. Stay well, guys, and thanks for checking in.